So you might be asking yourself, well, Marxist, I see you went over how to fight mid and defending and, and pushing last on seven of the eight maps that we play, but what about the rest of the game when we have to push and take away second or push and get mid back? What do I do then? And that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to go over five basic methods as well as provide you with video examples of a team doing each. I don't know what kind of a team it's going to be. Could be invite, could be I am, could be my team. And uh, I'll, I'll also go over the method itself prior to showing you the video example. In 6v6, you've got five basic methods to push a point. The first one is heel shifting. The second one is door or side stacking. The third is just building to make sure that you get an uber advantage. Four is utilizing pick classes. And five is what I like to call playing off the damage. Heal shifting. Assuming that players are of equal skill, the player with the most health should always win. Therefore, if you move your medic around and have him heal different players at different doors, you're eventually going to find a spot where their medic hasn't been, and you're going to get a kill. Thus, you're going to have a player advantage. Thus, you can push. This is best used when you have equal uber situations and you're locked into a stalemate. You wouldn't want to do this when you have uber disadvantage, because it's going to put you too close to the doors uh, and your med may go down. And you don't really want to do this when you have uber advantage because the uber is pretty much enough in most cases. Eight seconds of invincibility is pretty sweet. And so you don't really need to be trying to work a pick. You should just focus on other methods of pushing. This is an example of classic mix-up doing a heel shift and even a, a bit of a side stack play uh, combination. But as you can see, Pushed up in the flank there are Mackie at one point as a sniper and Clockwork. And Clockwork's not got a lot of health and CB is not there to heal him. So even though Clockwork is arguably the best scout in the game, he can't do anything against these players that have their medic right there on them. So it results in his death and it results in mix-up getting the player advantage they need to be able to push and take second. Side stacking is a method of pushing where you put four or more players on one door or side of the map in order to give yourself a local numbers advantage so that you can more easily get a kill because more people shooting at less people generally have a better chance of getting a kill. It's dangerous if ubers are going to become involved because if they pop a single soldier into you, you're going to have three or four people all trapped in an area that are going to get shot by an invincible guy. And if you have to pop your own Uber, you're going to have to flash a bunch and your Uber is going to be awful. This is, however, the number one method of pushing when you have an Uber advantage. Because it allows you to heal players who have things loaded, so you can maximize your damage potential, and also maximize your uber's ability to block damage. And this is an example of the madmen doing a side stacking push where they're going to throw four people through choke. Uh, ideally in these circumstances, Alpha wouldn't have died and their uber wouldn't have gotten popped but things happen and they and they do get mid so uh this is just a classic example of how side stacking gets you points there won't really be a video for this because there really doesn't need to be one it's just a generalized statement make sure that you're always building uber frantically build that uber if you intend to push with it as soon as you get it and especially if you're running crits Buff your players and don't worry about building as much if you're at an uber disadvantage. So the reason I don't show a video of this is because it's just common sense. If you intend to push with your uber advantage, you need to get that uber as quickly as possible. So don't buff your players, just heal the one guy that's building. Mihai's flow, 
uh, some seasons ago became famous for that and having Shrugger build those Ubers so that they'd get those advantages as quickly as possible. Rarely, but sometimes, it's beneficial to switch off of Scout or Roamer and bring in a Spy or a Sniper. It's extremely risky to do this because you're going to be missing something somewhere. Pick classes have a flaw in them that make it such that we don't run them all the time. Sniper doesn't occupy space. They can get up in your flank really easily if, you, if you're running a sniper and he's not on the flank scaring people. If he doesn't hit his shots, you're basically a player down. Same with Spy. You're basically a player down if he doesn't get a stab or doesn't ever find a good way to get in. Never, ever, ever bring out a pick class if you have advantage. If you've got uber advantage, that sniper or spy isn't going to do anything for you but make it harder for your uber to succeed at its goal. Also included in this section is the idea of bombing in your roamer to get their uber out and thus force an uber advantage. Here we see spades who died at mid, realizing that their medic lived as well as our medic, so he goes sniper to get a pick and allow us to push. That works in this situation because he gets a kill. If he hadn't got a kill, it's a big risk, because our other scout and roamer who are on the flank usually have another scout there to help them, and since we have a sniper, they don't have that help, making them a little bit weaker, a little bit easier to pick. And if the other team had realized that in time, they could have easily overwhelmed our flank and taken mid from us. And here we see the famous tag bomb. Tag is bombing in because his team wants to push second and they are going to bomb him at KBK, the enemy medic, so as to make KBK drop his uber or pop his uber. In this case, KBK drops his uber, which means Tag's team, despite Tag being dead, can push and easily gain second. Playing off of damage. Bring your projectile classes to bear and make them shoot at something. Typically you only need your pocket and demo, but the roamer may as well. Uh, that particular something will get hurt, and then you push in because whatever you hit doesn't want to fight you anymore. It's too hurt. It has to run away. And that will get you through the choke point that you're trying to get to and ready to push. Here we see the demo on my team, Christopher, playing off the damage. He forces his way in, he knows that he gets some of their players hurt, and then we bomb in a soldier to more or less seal the deal. After we start getting kills, it assures that we get the point. All we did there was notice that they were hurt, they didn't want to fight us because they were hurt, so they had to back up, and then we get in and take mid without having to pop ubers or do anything like that. And that was my rough guide on how to push in 6v6. I hope you found it to be helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can.